Hey yo, what it do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and what I got for you today is some NBA 2K24 Next Gen. Now, as you can tell by the title, thumbnail, and what's on the screen for you today, the video that I have for you today happens to be the best Paul George build in this game. Now, I'm quickly showing you what the template for this build looks like in 2K24, and as you can see, it looks like a half decent build. The only issues are some of the shooting stats are a bit off. Driving lip might be a bit too high depending on how you play and then of course the perimeter defense despite it being high is a bit of a liability because of how the strength is set up as well as how the stamina and speed is set up and I will show you how you make the best version of Paul George you can possibly make in this game. Now, before we get into make, me making this build, I do gotta say a special shout out to all of you for all the support you've been showing to the channel. It is highly appreciated. We did take quite a break between 2K23 and 2K24, so thank you. But I also gotta say, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share the video because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to drop a comment telling me any of the builds you wanna see, as well as hitting that subscribe button and turning post notice on because we are trying to get to 2,000 subs by the end of the week. And by the end of the week, I mean end of next week, because it is what it is. Now, Paul George is the starting small forward, measured in at six foot eight, weighing in at about 220 pounds, and having apparently a six foot eleven wingspan for the Los Angeles Clippers. And unlike in previous iterations of 2K, where I'd usually go through the attributes that I'm going through, as well as the badges that relate to it, I'm gonna do the attributes first, and then we'll go through the badges, just because a lot of these attributes are tied up into the badges, whereby, as you can see. For fearless finisher it's not only strength but it's also strength plus either close shot or driving layup so we're just going to go through it quickly and we will get what we can now to start off with as with any build for a guy who's a high flyer who's known to crash the rim we decided to go with an 86 on the driving dunk because unlike in previous years where it leads to limitless takeoff which is no longer in the game as you can see an 86 driving dunk will help you get that silver posterizer but you need to pair it up with at least a 75 when it comes to the vertical which ironically also means at an 84 with a at an 84 plus driving dunk with a 75 on the vertical you do also get those pro contact dunks at all levels all of them to get elite you need again 93 driving dunk with an 82 vertical which we are not aiming for just because we are trying to make this paul george build as versatile as he is in real life in which case we can't go to extreme on some of the stats now, when it comes to the driving layup, we decided to put this all the way up to an 80 because, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're criminals. Plus, it also allows us to get that Hall of Fame Pro touch. Close shot, we did not tweak too much. We left that at a 60. Driving, the same thing for standing dunk. Post control, I didn't mess with on this version of the build. I did make another version of it, which I will be putting at the end, which is for you guys who find yourself as more shooters and want to play less in the post and more want to spot up at three or take the shots off at three. But to make it as most like Paul George as we could, we went with a 65 when it came to the post control. Mid-range jump shot, we put this up to an 84. And then we put the three ball up to an 82. As I said, there is another version of this build that I did make that had an 85 on the three balls, which allows you to get that bronze limitless range. I will put a screen grab of that up at the end of the video so you can check it out and do what you want with it. And then when it came to the free throw, I put this up to a 75 just because I want, sorry, a 76, just because I wanted this build to at least have the ability to knock down free throws when you take it into the wreck. Because I do know as much as people say no one plays in the wreck too tough, a bunch of us do. Now, pass accuracy wise, we put this up to an 84, not a 95, and then put the ball control up to an 84 as well, just because we were trying to get a few key badges here and there. And then when it came to the speed of the ball, put this up to a 75, because unlike in previous years where it really hasn't mattered to put speed with ball high this year it does because as you can see it ties into some key badges being blow by speed booster and triple strike and then on the interior defense side of things this was affected by what we put on the perimeter defense which we put up to an 86 sorry it was affected by the steel we put the perimeter defense up to an 86 which is five lower than what they had on the template but the key reason for that is we needed to improve some of the attributes in order for it to be useful because as i said having a high perimeter defense with a low strength makes no use in this game strength does play a key part like 2k keyed in on some of the attributes that no one was upgrading last year they made them really useful this year because if you remember last year strength mainly played a part for forwards and guards and bully outside of that it was for things like brick wall box out beast yeah no one was really using it but this year you really do and then i put the steel up to an 85 this one i can is self-explanatory because at an 85 steel you get all the steel badges at at least silver to get them at gold you need at least a 90 steel on some of them you need a 91 steel for glove an 89 for inter interceptor and a 94 right stick stirper right stick ripper which in my personal opinion is a badge i will be checking out quite a bit when it came to the block, I put this up to a 50. There was no real reason behind this besides me wanting you to have the ability to be able to contest some shots. Speed, put this all the way up to an 81, which allows you to, of course, get that silver hype drive and silver speed booster. And then we put the 
acceleration up to a 73 strength i put all the way up to an 83 just because it messes with the finishing as well as the perimeter defense because you can see it allows us to get that silver and immovable enforcer and then at the 83 it also allows us to get that hall of fame physical handles vertical left it at a 75 and then stamina you have to put this at a 95 just because you want to be able to get that gold workhorse which in my personal opinion is always a clutch badge because as it says increases the player's speed and ability to get to loose ball over the opponent now let's quickly go through some of the key badges that I was aiming for when I made this build. Now I did put the driving layup at an 80 just because I knew it would allow us to get that silver fearless finisher as well as play a little bit of a part in getting slithery acrobat, gold aerial wizard, gold bunny, hall of fame pro touch and of course hall of fame spin cycle and two step. Spin cycle and two step will be the two clutch badges especially with the Paul George build because as it says spin cycle allows improves the player's ability to make spin layups or dunks and two step improves the player's ability to make your step and cradle layups or dunks which again Paul George basically a key part of his game and then also we wanted that gold float game because yeah if you've seen PG play that's part of his game now the 86 driving dunk is self-explanatory again aiming for silver sl slithery posterizer as well as precision dunk which says improves the player's ability to make skill dunks and then the other badges obviously were tied in with what we got from driving layup now one of the funny badges in here happens to be silver whistle which as it says increases the, the chances of drawing fouls when trying to score which i don't know how it will work especially when you're playing in the park because everyone will be running builds that basically have badges that should counter this but hey it'll be fun to see and then of course the silver the post control being at a 65 is because we were trying to get that silver post fade phenom phenomenon post fade phenom because yeah paul george can play out the post and really bang down their paws and get his shot off in the post now shooting wise we did go with an 84 82 split just because the 84 allows us to get some key badges of gold guard up as well as gold midi magician and then with an 84 we also get that gold catch and shoot but the key things here were with an 82 3 we also get the benefits of getting silver blind as well as, well as silver dead eye bronze agent threes silver corner specialist and silver space creator and spot finder now we do not get limitless range on this build because as i said you need an 85 for that but i will show you a version of the build later on that does free throw we did not put it high enough to get free points because yeah you should be able to knock down your free throws pass accuracy the reason it's at an 84 is because i was trying to get that silver needle threader i do know we could have got bronze bailout if we went up to an 87 but in my personal opinion that was burning too many points there are some fun badges to mess with here such as silver touch passer which speeds up how quickly a player passes the ball if they just received it which will be clutch and then of course relay passes which provides a boost to shooters to take a shot off a pass to assist now ball handle we left it at an 84 because it allows us to get physical handles when we improve the strength up to an 83 it also means we can get of course silver handle for days and then the pair up of ball handle and speed with ball means we can also get silver blow by silver speed booster and silver triple strike only thing here is with an 84 ball handle it does mean we can only get bronze killer combos as well as silver unpluckable now in my personal opinion unpluckable reduces the chances of getting stripped by the defender whereas sorry uh this is still kind of confusing hall of fame physical handles lessens the chance of being bothered by defenders on the perimeter while dribbling so in my personal opinion if you really want to abuse the fact that the two badges one's at silver whilst the other one's at hall of fame just don't find yourself in situations where you're standing still with the ball in your hands keep making sure that you're dribbling as much as you can be now defensively we weren't aiming for too much with the interior defense however with the perimeter we were we managed to get silver clamps ankle braces as well as challenger fast feet pick dodger and 94 feet which is a new badge as, as it says allows defenders to harass and bother ball handlers in the backcourt and of course we managed to get gold workhorse and gold off ball pest which workhorse was dependent on the perimeter defense as well as the stamina then when it came to the steal we got everything silver block didn't matter too much as well as defensive rebound speed we needed to put up in order to be able to get that hyper drive as well as speed booster excel same thing but for the all the other badges strength as you know we did it for physical handles as well as the defensive badges vertical was so that we could get the pro contact dunks and then stamina was for the gold workhorse now with the fact that we don't have to select specific badges and we get to use the badges how we want this layout in my personal opinion is one of the best two-way three level scorer builds you'll find in the game because it means you get to do a lot with the build now here are all the badges in an outlay where you can see them all and yeah we're barely missing much but the ones we do have come out hella clutch now the players that we do get in the shades of for this build happen to be none other than Karan Butler from the Washington Wizards, Andrew Wiggins from the Golden State Warriors, and Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat, and the build name is a three-level threat. Now, I will put up a nice little screen grab, as I said, of a version of the build that does allow you to get 
a, a, a bronze limitless range which ironically in the shades of it removes Jimmy Butler and plugs in Kawhi Leonard instead of Paul George which is kind of ironic because Kawhi is a worse three-point shooter than Paul George which would have made you think Paul George would be the one to come in but hey it is what it is now hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video which if you did don't forget to do me a favor go and hit that like button if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notices on and lastly but not least don't forget to go down below in the comments and drop a comment telling me what other builds you want to see and if we manage to hit 100 likes on this video i will drop another build video as soon as i wake up or as soon as we do but yeah it's been your boy alvin mb10 aka amr10 let me know how excited you are about 2k24 next gen down below in the comments i'll catch you in a bit deuces